$2 no, million. No, sir, sir, there, there's a huge the distinction. Accounts, Pardon me, sir. There was there's 20. a huge distinction. There's a huge distinction between whether it's appropriate for the family of a president to make money off of his name and whether that's ethical. But the question is specifically about what Joe Biden did when he was in office in vice president, whether he abused his power or whether he enriched his family members. And right now, there is zero evidence coming from the Oversight Committee that when he was vice president, he did either of those things. There's $20 million that flowed through. You saw these accounts That's open incorrect, up sir. The after, bank records after, don't reflect after. that. No, sir. You're, they they you're, don't you're specifically not, say, I looked at the story. bank records. They don't say that Joe Biden got any money from them. Have you read the bank Are records? Because they don't list Joe Biden's gonna, name. I'm not going to let you, I'm not gonna let you, you talk, say things that aren't are, true, sir. So, sir, the, the truth is, is that $20 million flowed through this, this family, whichever way it went. There's no records of, of sir, taxes being paid, statutes again, have run, and you're, again, you're saying that, that is okay. that is a talking okay. point and that you've repeated, the, what but was it is not actually what what's in the, the bank records, sir. What's in the bank what records is that $15 that million dollars of that money never even went to the Biden family. The other $5 million, there is zero, exactly zero and where did indication that, where did that, 15 that it went to Joe million go Biden. To? Where, did that, where did that money go to then? To Devin Archer and there's other over, business associates related to President there's Biden. There's over 20, there's over... What, there's over 20 shell corporations. Why would you set up a shell corporation that had absolutely nothing? There's actually evidence from the Oversight Committee would, that those corporations have no. legitimate business dealings. You may define them as shell corporations what are the they? way that you see then, it. Then what are they? Some then of what them are were they? consulting they no, firms. Some of them were lobbying firms. No, they firms. weren't. Listen, if you want to they do the were. interview, you just do the interview, but you're asking me a question. I'm trying to give you an answer, but you can't. You're not giving me an honest answer, me. sir. You're repeating a talking point no, that has sir, been debunked it, repeatedly. Have it you read the bank debunked. records? The money, have you seen the bank records? I have seen Do they bank. say Joe Biden's name on them? They say Hunter Biden's name, and what was the and he wasn't he was vice president. The influence to the big guy. He Tony wasn't Bobulinski vice president. Tony gave name, dates. Tony Bobulinski gave name, dates, times, and places. Tony and those, Bobulinski, and those right. were pretty. The, the question about the big damn, guy. See, you know. Go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say that he gave very damning testimony, and all you all want to focus on is one little grain of sand in a, in a huge beach that, that has absolutely nothing to do with the final outcome. The truth is, $20 million flowed through this family. That's in one false, shape, sir. form, or fashion or another. The, they had, you know, sir, it is not. They had $20 million that flowed through. It went through shell corporations. It went through alternate bank accounts. Now, why would you have these 20 bank accounts set up if you weren't trying to? Why would banks literally send memos out that say they have no product? We have to be careful of this. We need to get shy of this. Why would they send those out? Why would banks do that? You're focusing on you, one little thing and you're not looking at everything else. Sir, I, I, I honor the idea that there are questions about whether it is ethical and appropriate for the family members of an elected official to profit off of something. But I also dispute the fact that we're focused on a grain of sand. I want to get to the point about these bank investigators, because you're talking about an email from 2018 that was sent out that Republicans shared that was about uh, banks looking into a deal struck by Hunter Biden with this Chinese firm, the email that Republicans shared that came from these people overseeing this deal was actually the last page of a four page document. And earlier in that document, I'm sure you've read it, I hope you have, they quote saying that the business activity is reasonable and consistent, also that they do not see any signs of bribery. So what you're citing is actually only a small piece of something that overall by senior investigators was declared to be a legitimate business enterprise. I never 